So this one's for uh, enterprise people, people who are uh, running big data centers uh, with a lot of uh, apps running on those data centers. And some of you are uh, thinking about moving to the cloud. You're thinking about getting rid of your old data center because it's costing too much money, it hasn't been updated, and on and on. We're going to talk about that. But App Zero has a way to move your applications from your old data center into the cloud easily within an hour or two. And we're going to talk about that right now. Who are you? Hi, I'm Greg O'Connor, CEO of App Zero. Uh, before App Zero, I was CEO of Sonic Software, and uh, if there's any claim to fame to what I've done, uh, I was sort of the, the inventor and evangelizer of Enterprise Service Bus. So I, uh, with Sonic Software, had uh, the first Enterprise Service Bus to ship, and uh, Work closely with Gartner to evangelize that category. Wow. And so uh, App Zero is a, what, a service to help you move from, help enterprises move their apps from their old data center into the cloud? Is that? So, so it's a tool to help people do this migration. And what we see is uh, as the enterprise adopts cloud, they have a bunch of legacy applications that you know, they would like to pick up and move to the cloud, right? And I kind of use the analogy of it's like owning a house and your data center is the house and you know, you're tired of mowing the lawn and painting the house and paying your gas bill and paying your cable bill. And you really rather move to a condo where all those things are provided in, in one bill, right? So we're like a U-Haul truck. We go into the house and we take all the furniture out of the house, put it in the U-Haul truck, move it over to the cloud, move it over to the Rackspace cloud and put it back in and then drive away. So we you know, help that migration. We can help move applications uh, from a data center to a cloud probably 60 times faster than any other way. Give me an example of, of a real customer that you did this for. So we just had a great success with Patch Blue Ribbon. They decided to move their applications to the cloud, uh, to the Rackspace cloud. And one of the interesting things is the Rackspace cloud is a managed cloud, right? So they wanted to leave the OS and you know, all that painting of the house and mowing the lawn behind and have Rackspace do that, right? So uh, there's two giant enterprise applications they have, one called Salient Margin Minder, which is their supply chain uh, application, and it tracks the brewing of the beer and sort of the distribution through retail. And then they have an ERP application called Microsoft Dynamics, and it's got General Ledger and Crystal Reports and you know, a lot of different applications off that. So uh, we engaged with an SI called uh, Vert Essential, and they were able to go in sort of discover what these applications are. One of the interesting facts is those application subject matter experts you know, weren't no longer in the, in, in the Patch Blue Ribbon organization, that they left like two years ago. So this person knew nothing about those applications, was able to use our tool, discover those applications, and then migrate them to the Rackspace cloud in under an hour. Yeah. So the, the choices there usually are um, for migration, people reinstall the application, reconfigure it, and then migrate the data. And, uh, this SI estimated it would have taken one to two weeks to do each one of those applications, and they were able to do each one in less than an hour. So it's you know, a huge, but they estimate 60, 70, 80 X faster to move this application from with our tool vis-a-vis -vis reinstall and, and reconfigure. And they, uh, now they're on a modern OS, because you, you told me that they, they were running on really old OS. So, um, you know, I, I think kind of the patch level and, you know, things probably got ignored and, and certainly one of the benefits of, you know, not having to repaint the house, if it was time to repaint the house, is by moving to the condo, you know, in the rack space world, it, it's uh, all the same, it's patched and it's brand new and, you know, the applications are up there and running and they don't have to worry about that anymore. Yeah. Uh, how do you guys get paid? So we generally, um, the SI would pay us money. So the SI uh, engages in this case with Paps Blue Ribbon, they charge them for the migration, and then they you know, use our tool and pay us for the use of our tool. So um, you know, if a SI can help, uh, let's say Paps Blue Ribbon move something in, in a day instead of two weeks, it's a lot, more, a lot less expensive, a lot more value to help, help the enterprise move on to the cloud. Yeah, uh, what's happening to your business? Because you just came out in so, what, so, March this year? Um, or May? Yeah, so we came out in May with the product and uh, kind of the roadmap and evolution is we first came to market in May and then uh, at the end of the summer we added IIS support, so a lot of the Microsoft applications are based on IIS. Um, we're in beta with a very exciting feature which we call up-level OS migration. So one of the things the enterprise is going to be faced with is Windows 2003 is coming to end of life. So in the next 18 months at the end of 2014 is end of life. So the enterprise is going to have a choice to you know, migrate those applications to a newer OS or 
um, go off support, or probably Microsoft offers support for what I've heard is three times more what they're paying now. So it, you know, you could still get support, but it's very expensive. So since the enterprise has to do this migration and, and migrate from 2008 to from 2003 to 2008 or 2003 to 2012, with our tool, you can do that. And if you're going to move your applications, you should you know, maybe move them from the data center to the cloud. So uh, you know, we really see a lot of momentum in the enterprise adopting cloud, not only for you know, test and dev and, and mobile apps, right, but also now really getting the advantages of utilizing it for legacy apps. Do you have any other stories about what happened to PAP's uh, business after they moved to the cloud? Did they save a lot of money? Did, you know, what, do you have any of this, those stats? Any of those so stats? I don't really have any of those stats. Um, I, I know that uh, uh, Ben, the CIO, was very happy that how smooth it happened, that it was a, a very compressed time frame. They were worried about, you know, do they really understand the applications that it happened seamlessly? They're very happy with the Rackspace Cloud because uh, that seems to run really, really well. So um, I'm not exactly sure, you know, what, beyond that, that other than it happened really fast and it didn't cost them much money to migrate. Walk me through the tool. What, what does it technically do to move that uh, U-Haul truck over to the, the cloud? Sure, so um, generally what you would do is you're, you're moving your production machine to the Rackspace cloud. And what you do is our tool comes up in the Rackspace cloud and uh, what you do is connect or what we call tether back to the data center. And when you connect back to the data center, there's a discovery aspect where it'll figure out what are all the applications or services that are running on the production machine. So one of the benefits is none of our software ends up on the production machine. And you can imagine that production people don't want new software on their machine. So uh, what it does is interrogates and discovers those applications. And then it surfaces them where the migration person would be able to select, you know, for example, um, in the Dynamics case, you'd select SQL Server and you'd select the dynamic application and Crystal Reports and then you push the, the migration button. And what it does is it starts up those applications and as it starts up, what it recognizes is if it's trying to start SQL Server, SQL Server.exe is not on that local Rackspace machine and it goes and grabs it from the production machine. So it's kind of like dynamically paging the application as it runs over into the cloud and then once it's up and running, you can stop it um, and, and the application's migrated. So again, the Dynamics application for Passable Urban was moved in less than an hour. Wow. Um, tell me about the business that you're building. I, how was it funded? And, and uh, so we, we have a, a couple of uh, ventures and in, uh, VCs involved. So Covington's involved, and then um, I'd say Super Angels maybe. So there's a guy Nigel Stokes who was CEO of a company called Data Mirror that he sold to IBM. Uh, Joe Alsop was pro, um, CEO of Progress Software, so he's involved in it as well. Uh, Simon Crosby, pretty well known. Uh, he was CTO at Zen and CTO at Citrix. Uh, so he's on the board as well. Um, so we have a, a little group there that's funded. Uh, corporate headquarters are in Boston, Mass. So uh, CEO me, I'm there, and then the head of sales and marketing and CTO is there. And then the development organization is in Ottawa. Um, so there's the, the, the Windows version, and then we also have a, a Linux and Solaris version. Um, the migration piece is, is coming along in those two, I'd say. I'm sure that you're going to have competitors because this is a big trend to move enterprise into cloud. How would I um, evaluate you if I'm a CTO? So, so, so there's, I think we're the only ones that do application migration. There's a category of migration as a, as, a, as a big category. So there's people that do image migration. So there's a couple companies out there that do image migration. And that's a real challenge because uh, VM images or machine images are, are, are generally you know, 50 to 500 times larger than the application. So there becomes a whole speed component of I can, if I just migrate the app that it's 50 to 500 times faster if you use our tool versus an image migration tool. There's often, um, if you're moving into a managed cloud, you don't really want to move the whole machine. So if I'm moving into Rackspace, I don't want the customer's OS. If you think about the antivirus and backup and monitoring tools that would be you know, provisioned and running in Papsule Ribbon in the PBR case, they would be different in the Rackspace thing. So if you move a whole machine, you're going to drag all that along with you. So as far as I know, the, the competition for app migration, we're the only ones that do that. The other approach that you see typically most systems integrators do is the reinstall, reconfigure, migrate the data, you know, export it out of the database, re-import it. And then again, I think you're faced with a, a very long uh, process to be able to move the application. Error prone if you have to do it again. Um, so, you know, whenever it's manual, you know, the trick to the cloud is automate the heck out of everything. So we're the only application automation migration tool in the market that I know of. 
you don't do any analysis of the of the app or look at, you don't tell me how oh, you should uh, upgrade it upgrade to the latest version of MySQL or you don't you don't look for uh, inefficiencies in my code or anything like that, right? No, so it's, it's not really a code inspection. It, it's pretty much a, a separate the app from the OS, which has a certain amount of magic to it. Um, and then, you know, often the question is, you know, as I move it to the cloud, how many more, you know, do I, is it going to run at the same performance level? Um, you know, we say we can work with, if there's a performance tool that would help you evaluate kind of the sizing of the, of the machine that you need, uh, it certainly makes you know, provisioning things in different clouds really fast. So if you're trying to make a choice about, you know, what cloud and what's the geometry that, that they run in, you can provision them really quickly. If you can move these enterprise apps in less than an hour, you can try it out and decide what the right sizing is. Uh, we love that you are moving things to the Rackspace cloud. What about other clouds? Do you support so, like so, Amazon or Google? So or we Microsoft? have support for Amazon and um, Google's mostly Linux at this point. So the product that we're really focusing on right now is on Windows, but um, HP, IBM, Joyent, um, and probably some lesser known clouds. But uh, certainly we have partnerships with all of them. And it's really, for us, it's the systems integrators are usually the ones that are doing the lifting, that the enterprise makes the decision to move to the cloud. And then when they're trying to figure out how to do it, they usually engage a set of experts that do that. So there's a set of SIs that we're partnering up it, with. Is your uh, code to move over to the Rackspace cloud Rackspace specific, or is it open stack? Um, one of the things that's really great about our technology is there's no cloud specific APIs in it. So the hypervisor underneath, or whether it's a physical machine, uh, doesn't matter whether it's using OpenStack or you know some of the other clouds might be using VMware to do the provisioning. So no matter what the provisioning underneath is or what, what the hypervisor is underneath, because our interface interacts between the app and the OS, we're agnostic to that. Yeah. Are, have you found things that you can't move yet? Because uh, I'm sure you've done sure, quite a few. Sure. Uh, yeah, so, so the, the truth of marketing, uh, right now we, we don't move SharePoint and Exchange. There's a lot of those out there and we get asked about that. but. Uh, uh, those applications are written by Microsoft, and you know the way our technology works, they use a set of APIs that are undocumented. So you know we don't quite got the right precision to be able to move those apps, but I, I expect by the spring we'll be able to do that. Okay. And um, what else do I need to know about this technology? Because it's it's pretty cool and and helps a lot of businesses get modern. It's the modernized. fastest way to move to the enterprise and. Uh, you know, I, I think there's been a lot of, you know, why wouldn't I move to the enterprise, whether it's security or, I think we're in the right time for uh, a couple of, of real drivers in the market. And, and the driver is the enterprise is finally beginning to adopt the cloud for legacy apps, not just brand new apps and not um, just for test and dev. So we really see that migration beginning to happen. Uh, we're sort of excited about this end of life of 2003 because that's also going to be a real driver. And yeah. if you're going to pick up and move your app, you should move it to the cloud because you know, that's where the market's headed. Yep, absolutely. We totally agree. So thank that's you so right. much for hey, coming in. Thanks a lot. I really enjoyed it. Where do we learn more about you? So uh, you can go to uh, www.appzero.com and you can see great videos of uh, picking up and moving applications at the Rackspace Cloud. Very cool. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Thank you.